the title of today is velocity control, and the subtitle is how to calculate user unit for velocity mode. Uh, velocity control mode has two kinds of modes. First, cyclic synchronous velocity and profile velocity mode. And uh, the significant difference between CSV mode and the PV mode is the PDU update cycle. Um, in CSV mode, the drive renews the target velocity at every PDU update cycle. However, in PV mode, the drive doesn't need PDU update. The drive uh, generates the profile by itself. They are the diagrams for velocity control. The first one is for CSV mode, which needs the PDU update. And the second one is profile velocity. Uh, in this PV mode, as we have said in previous page, the drive generates the profile by itself, like a This kind of profile. So to make this param mm, profile, we need uh, some different parameters. For example, maximum profile velocity. This one can maximum, and the profile acceleration. This one this part and the profile deceleration can this so related parameters are like this from here to here and uh, these four parameters uh, to generate profile uh, in PB mode So with that four kinds of parameters, we can make this kind of profile. The first target velocity here, that means uh, something like this. And uh, in this example, number two is the target velocity. Regarding the unit, we are going to talk about in the next page. So let's see just the value. In this graph, the target velocity is 2. And uh, maximum profile velocity here. So maximum profile velocity is this one. It remits the maximum velocity. Um, if the system has a very high level of the, ex the acceleration, acceleration or high level of deceleration, the instantaneous velocity can be very high or very, very low more than the target velocity. So in this case, to prevent the unexpected damage about the equipment, we need to set the profile velocity. So next, uh, the profile velocity acceleration is this, and the profile deceleration is this. So this is the parameters for profile mode. So we have uh, checked the uh, we have uh, checked how to use the velocity control in the previous page, and. Uh, as you know, these parameters are for burst control mode. However, 
Mm, there is some confusing concept that we haven't talked yet, uh, which is uh, that is called the user unit. Actually, I believe that there are many customers who are familiar with the server systems. They will, um, they will be familiar with this concept and the meaning of a user unit, and they will, they are aware of. I believe that they are aware of how to calculate the user unit, or what it means. However, I still believe that there are some customers who are not familiar with concept because uh, some customers are not familiar with the self-system and uh, especially uh, with our with the RS Macapian's uh, self-system. So today I'm going to explain what is a user unit in very simple way and how to calculate this as uh, the most of the uh, units in these uh, chapters have uh, user units. So I believe that we need to know what it is and how to calculate this. Uh, this is the um, kind of diagram to show you what the user unit means. So basically user unit is the scaling unit which is defined by user so in this case I mean the in the various control mode uh, it determines the value about the unit time about the unit time so by by setting this value the output in in this case the velocity becomes very different because uh, uh, this value is the output by the setting one however 1000 this value is the output by the setting two but they have the same input the only difference is the user unit setting value And uh, this value depends on the user preference for the system. And this is the very simple meaning of a user unit. So, in the profile velocity mode, you need to set the velocity with user unit. Uh, not, not only for profile velocity mode, but also most of setting value has a user unit in L7NH drive. So for this process, you need to check the basic two values. Uh, first one is encoder resolution, so encoder possible revolution, and the second is target speed. And uh, all you need to do is multiply them together. So encoder force for revolution and the target speed. So however, uh, one thing you have to remember is that because uh, uh, we use the time unit, the second, as the unit time in this drive. So in this process, the unit conversion is required for unit RPM. So RPM should be changed revolution per sec. So let's input the value. So 5 to 4 to 8, 8, which is the encoder pulse for revolution, and the 3000, which is the target speed. But we have to change the change the unit so minute should be converse to second we need to divide 3000 by uh, 60 so we can get this value and uh, the unit 
is the UJ unit per sec and that means the velocity uh, for the S7NH drive actually the output for the input uh, however, however if there is a gear ratio in your drive I mean if you have a set the gear ratio for your drive uh, you need to add a gear ratio for this process so in this example we have uh, the same encoder pulse for revolution and the target speed 3000 rpm and 5 to 4 to 88 pulse so mm, let's see the formula here encoder pulse per revolution and the target speed from here to here it is same the only thing uh, that is added is the shaft revolutions over motor revolutions because uh, we have a gear ratio and uh, that means in these parameters 6091 uh, from this uh, these parameters we can check uh, this value motor revolutions 5 to 4 to 8 8 and the shaft revolutions 20 and this is value this value is just the example so you can set any values depending on your system preference so let's input these uh, values in this formula so encoder pulse per revolutions should be five two four two eight eight, and the uh, three thousand and the two converse units from minute to second, we need to input uh, sixty, and the uh, twenty, which is uh, shaft revolutions, and the five to four to eight eight, which is uh, motor revolutions, so by this process we can get 10,000 UJ unit per sec so in the previous page we have a check the how to calculate the velocity but in this page we are going to check uh, how to calculate the acceleration um, there are several things we have to check but uh, by checking this chart we can find the all information that we need um, let's see this chart the vertical axis that means uh, velocity and the horizontal axis that means uh, time that has the second unit and actually the slope of uh, this graph means the acceleration so we can recognize what is the target speed and uh, what is the required time so in this chart the target speed is 10,000 rpm and the required time to reach 10,000 rpm is 2 seconds and another thing we have to know is just the uh, encoder pulse per revolution but uh, we already know what it is uh, in this case this value is also 5 to 4 to 8 8 and the target speed as we have uh, checked in this chart it would be 10,000 rpm and the required time is 2 second and this they are all, all all information we have to know in this step. So let's see the formula. Uh, encoder pulse for revolution and the target acceleration. But we all know that the acceleration is the velocity which is divided the time. So it can be changed like this, but like the previous page we have to change the unit minutes to second 
so this one should be changed like this so we input the values encode the first power revolution 5 to 4 to 8 8 here and the velocity that means the target speed target velocity 1000 and uh, to change the unit you have to divide this divide this value with 60 and the time is just two seconds so we can get this value and then this is the acceleration value which has a user unit so we can set these all parameters uh, even if uh, some parameters have a user unit value now we know what it is and how to calculate this.